In my backyard, in your backyard. Um, as you know, Mike and many other politicos really worked hard to get money from the federal government and the state government for Caltrans to deal with the Sepulveda Pass. The freeway and the, 40, the 405 freeway through the Sepulveda Pass, especially southbound, is a real problem. It goes five lanes down to four, including a carpool lane. And so there is now almost a billion dollars that's going to be available to deal with the problem in the past. Um, but I'm sure when Mike arranged to get the money and worked really hard, which I'm quite frankly really proud of because it wasn't going to come to LA at all, um, he didn't have any intention of homes being taken or properties being destroyed in the process. But right now, two of the plans that Caltrans has will take as many as 12 homes in Sherman Oaks. It will close the, the off-ramps of Valley Vista and Sepulveda and the on-ramp there for years while they consider rebuilding that ramp system into a series of hook ramps. That will flood traffic up Sepulveda, which is also going to be going through some construction project, over to Woodcliffe, over to Beverly Glen, over to Havenhurst, to send a lot of traffic up through the other canyons. And we know that the small little $47 million project over at the 101 and 405 that's been going on for five years was supposed to be done two years ago. So if you can imagine a project that's going to go from the 101 all the way down to Westwood is going to happen in three to five years, you've got to be kidding yourself. So the real truth of the matter is, is that with this billion dollars nearly being spent, we're going to have, according to Caltrans public statements, approximately 10 minutes less rush hour traffic on each side of the block rush hour periods. But the amount of traffic will be the same when the project is done. So you have to ask yourself, is this money used wisely? And for the context of this project, could it be done differently? Caltrans has very consistently said you have three choices. No build, which means do nothing, or do project alternative two, which is do a lot of this, but not as big as alternative three, which we really go nuts with, which would take out these homes in Sherman Oaks in both cases of two and three. On your table is a document that I would like you to take home with you. It basically is the points that we would like to have you write, and I mean write, either on your typewriter or on your computer and print out and sign and send through the U.S. mail, not by fax or by email, to the people at Caltrans. The address is at the bottom. SOHA's board of directors has taken the position that this project, in its current form, all three alternatives, is flawed. Our biggest concern is to avoid the excessive traffic that would come with much too large a project and that would take homes and property. So the simplest way to look at the problem in Sherman Oaks is, after 25 years, West Sherman Oaks got a sound wall. And now they want to take it down, move it 45 feet to the west, take out all these homes, and change that neighborhood forever. So what we'd like you to do, because we know it has an impact on Caltrans and it can help Mike in his efforts to help us, is please, Right to Caltrans. The more they get on these key points, the more empowerment we will have in saying, don't take the homes. Fix the problem in the past, but don't take the problem. Thank you very much.